series and episode number four, sorry, and Nisu station number two on the Arab Valley line. And we're heading down to Amberley, which if you've never heard of it, which most people haven't, is between Pulborough and Arundel, which is on the stretch line between Horsham and Vulcan Ranges. So let's head down and review it and see the history. Right, and we're now approaching Amberley station. Now on the station only has a five foot platform, which is a lot shorter than all of the others. So let's see what this one has to offer. We are now approaching Amberley. Please wind the gap between the train and the platform. Would customers please note that you can only alight from the front five coaches as this station has a short platform. Please ensure you are travelling in the correct part of the train. This is coach number four of eight. And here we are, a massive step down onto the platform. Now this station is Amberley. So let's uh, have a look around and see what it's like. train and realised the boards at Amberley are a little bit broken. This is a security which is slightly unfortunate. Or text the British Transport Police on 61016. Wheel sorted. See it, say it, sorted. Right, so now we're here. Let's see what it's got. So we've got a lovely little shelter on the main platform. A station building, which is not in use anymore. Um, you've got good benching, uh, bins, defibrillator, a help point, ticket machine, which uh, it is in use, as you can see. Um, we used to validators. If you go out the front of the station, you've got information boards, you've got an Amazon hub. And over here, a little bench with signs, Amberley Museum, and then the massive, I believe they're chalk cliffs as well, and then the main road which takes you to Horsham and to Bognor. And here is the station project information board. Right. Let's go back inside. You've got a very nice little green footbridge here. So let's count the stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen to the middle. Seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-three, twenty-three to the top. Now I'll be honest, this is a very low footbridge as you can see. It only goes up to my waist. Well, I'm fa fairly tall, but for kids, so a child's up here, I reckon their head would be just above here and they might fall forwards. Maybe a bit of a safety concern. Um, but yeah, it's a lovely view really from up here. Uh, let's go back down again. Because uh, 
in 11 minutes time, my train northbound is leaving this platform. Uh, it's got more signage. And then this lovely board, which I used to my thumbnail in the Shovel Vlog video in December 2021. Now this board is also not calibrated correctly. And then here, lovely waiting shelter building. Um, and there is somebody in here. But, uh, it's wooden. It's got all your information up here, including this. And that pretty much concludes everything at the station. There's not much here. So, we're now going to go through the station history. So once I pull it up on my little iPhone, here we go. So, so this station was opened on the 3rd of August 1863 by the London, Brighton and South Coast Railway. Um, the now closed signal box is situated under the Cunningham platform too. There we go, that's a little yellow bit there. Um, that's a little mini signal box. Uh, there was a goods yard connected to um, the Amberley line. Oh no, uh, there was a bit good job connected called the Amberley Lime Works, which is now Amberley Museum, which is uh, over there. And that's what the car park. So the car park used to be a goods yard. Service pattern is one train an hour, uh, Victoria to Horsham, uh, Horsham to Bognor. I oh, know, hang on, sorry. Victoria to Bognor, each direction. In peak, it goes up to half hourly. Uh, this is a DFT category F2 station. And on Sundays, uh, 12 car trains come through to Bognor and the services to Southampton and P Portsmouth uh, divide at Barnum instead of at Horsham. Um, for the passenger statistics, in 2021 to 2022, this station received 44,318 passengers, which makes it the second least used on the Arran Valley line. And per day, that is approximately 120.92 passengers. So... I bet everyone knew that was so coming there. So, uh, yeah, that pretty much concludes the station. I've got uh, 10 minutes for my train. And, um, yeah, I'm just going to sit around, do some cutaways, and um, eat some of my lunch, because it's only 10am. And I didn't have much breakfast this morning, because I don't have the house at half past eight. Just like that, we are finished ambling. So we are now heading over 